Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. It's Lizzie the Lightworker here. So today, guys, I'm bringing you a twin flame union reading for separation. And this is going to be for Scorpio and Aries. It is genderless. So however it resonates with you guys, whether it resonates in divine feminine energy or divine masculine energy, however it resonates, keep whatever doesn't toss. So we're going to jump right into this reading and we're going to get some of Divine Scorpio's energy out. So let's see in separation, Divine Scorpio energy it could be energy leading up to the break. It could be energy a little bit now. So what I'm feeling is right off the bat that Scorpio may have pursued Aries rapidly. I feel like they were very magnetically attracted to Aries. I feel like it was a little more sexual um, than, you know, emotional. I feel like Scorpio looked upon Aries like it was the best thing they've ever seen. I feel like Scorpio really worked very, very hard to obtain Aries' attention, like to keep their attention. They also, I feel like, are someone that will put in the work to a relationship and has no problem putting in the work to a relationship if they feel that there's a good investment for love and companionship and compatibility. I also feel like there was some way that Scorpio brought sort of a healing energy into Aries. There may have been something with Aries energy that needed some healing, okay? It could have been part of the agreement that they made in the contract. Um to sort of help or serve each other. But yeah, I feel like there could be some communication happening here pretty soon. In separation without communication, that is, I feel like there could be some um, reaching out from Scorpio to Aries. So um, that's something to think about. But I do feel like Scorpio has a beautiful magnetism to themselves as well. And I feel like they may have turned other people down in relationships and almost feeling like they could have been single when they met their twin, but either way, they would put off other people or other relationships. They really didn't have much interest in anyone else or dating anyone else or trying with anyone else in this particular energy, okay? I feel like Aries was the star, the star of the show. That's all they were focusing on. They just had razor sharp focus and wanting to sort of perfect the relationship and also work on themselves. I feel like Aries brought a level of energy into Scorpio that made them feel like I want to work on myself. I want to be a better person. I want to achieve. I want to be recognized. I want to be noticed. I have a feeling too that Scorpio needs this in the relationship and twin made them feel this way. Twin made them feel like they're the only one in the room. Made them feel very, very confident and um, just sort of like beautiful, okay? So that's something I feel like Scorpio needs. And they present themselves in, in a very high light. They're very classy, okay? I'm getting a class act here. Also someone that works very, very hard. Labor hard or just in general works very, very hard to make accomplishments, make achievements, and sort of like, I don't know, like almost like they have a trophy room, like, or they're proud of, you know, their, their progress at work, or they're proud of what they've done in life, okay? Like I'm getting a little bit of a survivor thing too, like they could show off the fact that they're a survivor and they've worked very, very hard to go through healing and to maintain their health in the best way. So let's get on to the Aries part because it helps me paint sort of a little bit bigger of a picture, okay? So I'm feeling like Aries might have been the one that made the move. Like they may have been in chaser mode, okay? I'm feeling like Scorpio is in a little bit of runner, I'm sorry, yes, in runner mode. So Aries, I feel like, needed to mature a bit, okay? There's some things with communication and some things with sort of wanting to sort of impose their way it's like my way or the highway type thing so I feel like coming together with divine Scorpio was a good thing and it felt good to Aries and Aries definitely got um you know the feeling of like comfort and home and like you know just niceness from Scorpio like a like a nice cushy you know we're together like let's set up like a place to live together I feel like that was talked about like they wanted to be together long term to live together or to be together long term and try to make it work 
I feel like Aries could have said some things that hurt Scorpio. Scorpio is sensitive and Aries is a little harder. So I feel like it, there were some things. It could have been that maybe they were living together and there were some domestic issues I'm feeling like. I also feel like Aries sort of wanted this. So when we come down the middle, we're going to get some more cards. But I also feel like Aries wanted this. So what changed? We, we need to find out. We need to go down the middle. Okay. So yeah, I feel like Aries maybe in some way might have rejected Scorpio. I feel like they may have not been 100% ready. They may have lied and said they were or they thought they were and they backed out at some point. I'm feeling an apology is due. Okay, I feel like Aries owes Scorpio an apology like they need to sort of clear the air or they need to be sorry for something that they did or not taking Scorpio seriously enough or making Scorpio invest their time and there wasn't like the payout that they thought by payout. I don't mean financial payout. I mean emotional payout. I mean connection, the emotional connection. There's regrets here. There's sadness. There's sort of like a wallowing and almost like a crying over spilled milk. Very, very sad state you know it's like somebody that is just kind of ashamed of themselves or feeling a little bit of shame or not wanting to show face or deal with their problems um i also feel like they're having a hard time moving on they're having a hard time getting out of this energy and until there's some kind of reconciliation i feel like they're going to stay in this energy a little bit okay yeah and this is i think aries not wanting to accept what scorpio had to offer Okay, they they had a lot to offer. They had a lot to bring to the table. Aries might have had a little bit less to bring to the table. Um, maybe not. I mean, I'm just I'm throwing it out there. I'm just feeling like Scorpio was like, you know, I got it going on. I got, you know, a good job. Like, I'm, you know, doing very well. Like, you know, I, I really like you. I really want you. I feel like Aries was in just a state of like, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I need that. Um, they may have been holding on to an ex or a past relationship and it was giving them trouble sort of coming into the new and the newness of the divine masculine feminine union with twin. Yeah, I feel like they were like refusing or they were like, you know, not happy, dissatisfied. There's just sort of like a general distaste. Like, I feel like that's what they're sad or regretful over like they know they should have like stuck with Scorpio or they know they should have like you know been more reciprocating to their offer if that makes any sense I just feel like they have options too I feel like Aries is just sort of like in a funk or was in a funk in this part of the separation process or this could be now and I do feel like Scorpio might have called them out on this bullshit or they will if they get the chance to. I feel like Scorpio is more like feeling a little backstabbed or like they need to watch their back or they need to defend themselves or they need to defend their back. Like they're more so like I'm right. I was right all along. Like I'm not giving into that. There's no way like I'm sticking by it. Once I'm done, I'm done. Or once I've said this, I've said this more of like this powerful take back my power like you're not gonna hurt me again I won't allow it like mentality and I feel like it was due because Aries just didn't know what they wanted they were not able to make heads or tails of where the relationship was going or maybe it felt really really great in the beginning and they were super psyched about it and then you know I feel like things started to fizzle out. I just feel like Scorpio was giving it their all. They were really putting in immense effort to make Aries happy. So then no wonder why they feel so, you know, backstabbed or they feel like they need to defend themselves or they feel like they were right and they're not going to let it go. So let's get some more. Yeah, this is like a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict, a lot of passion behind it as well. Very passionate words, very passionate in their heart. The arguing and the fighting was like, it could almost leave you shaking or leave you crying after or like feeling like there's some kind of crazy aftermath. There's not a lot of seeing eye to eye here, okay? And definitely not syncing up of energies and not working as a team, like a team in a relationship. That's what I'm getting here. I'm picking that up. So yeah, there could have been, it could have been a bunch of little things that, that sort of threw them into this whirlwind of like conflicts and arguments and sort of fighting and everything, or it could have been just a few things. Either way, this is pe two people that are having a difficult time. They might be a little less in 
I don't know, I feel like they might not be as compatible as they thought they were. And there's some things that need to be worked out. I'm not blaming anybody. I don't like to blame anybody, but we like to examine each side and each energy of these two divine energies of Scorpio and Aries. And they are sort of opposites because Scorpio is a water sign, very loving and nurturing and Aries is very passionate and impulsive and impatient. So I feel like Aries had some impatience, um, especially if Scorpio is defending their position. Aries is like counterattacking that like because Aries doesn't like to be wrong either. So a little bit of butting heads, I will say, butting heads. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of more cards in and I'm going to pull in some of my gypsy oracle cards okay that's what they look like so gypsy oracle cards let's get one for scorpio and let's get one for aries so we're getting let's just see here okay we're getting love so i feel like scorpio was operating out of real true love and not afraid to take a chance and not afraid to put themselves out there they weren't afraid of the arrows you know, that Cupid is firing. They're embracing of it because I feel like they're like live and let live. And they're also like, we'll die for love. I feel like they are so committed once they commit. If you hurt them, it's bad. It causes tension. It makes them very want to go into sort of like this vindictiveness and they go into like fact finder mode. So, but I'm feeling like everything that Scorpio has done was out of love. Like everything I do, I do for you. And that's the theme here with Scorpio. And I do feel like they were more accepting of it because they seem to have worked a bit harder at it and for it, okay? And they still feel this way in separation, okay? They still feel this way. So let's get one for Aries and let's see what we're going to get, okay? Let's grab one out here. We're getting lover. Interesting, love and lover. Okay, so Aries... Aries is a lover and a fighter, interestingly enough, because look at how that just pairs up. Aries is a lover and a fighter. They come on as a lover. They introduce as a lover with a lot of passion and a lot of eye contact and a lot of sexual energy. And Scorpio has a lot of sexual energy. I feel like this is a really fiery combination here and very, very different people. These are two totally different people that were twins and so attracted to one another so yeah i mean i feel like deep down aries needs to feel affection they can't be smothered but they need to feel affection and they need to sort of have that they have like a high sex drive so they need like that intensity okay that you know two lovers feel so let's get one more card and we'll sort of tie this up and it'll be just a general theme to tie it up so we're getting unknown territory. You're exactly where you need to be. Okay. So just know that this is in separation. It's like hitting the pause button. Okay. I do feel like these two both are carrying a torch for each other. I feel like it's very passionate and it almost feels sexual. I feel like the maturity part needed to grow and still needs to grow. And the commitment part needs to grow and still needs to grow. And sort of the energies for, of these two people need to sort of find like a common ground. Aside from what they're doing in their personal lives. Um, and again, Aries does feel regretful. I feel like they're open to sort of resolution and I do feel like Scorpio will feel a bit threatened and I do feel like Aries will feel a bit threatened I feel like their egos are still very much in the way because I feel like neither one wants to back down when they're fighting that's what I'm getting all right guys and this was in separation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think give me a big thumbs up don't forget to share and I also started a twin flame separation group on Facebook so check my link in my description box for that and I'll see you guys in the next reading love and light